Tesla stock reached its climax. It is not only about to report earnings today, but it is under a critical resistance level. Yes, Tesla is on the verge of reversing the bear trend. However, if it fails in doing so, the situation will get ugly again. So let's update our key points using technical analysis and study a few possible scenarios for Tesla stock from here. Welcome to the Finance Hydro channel. My name is Nathan. Let's start our multiple time frame analysis, analyzing the one hour chart. In the short term, Tesla is clearly bullish. It is in a crystal clear bull trend. Why? Because it is doing higher highs, higher lows, trading above the 21 EMA. In fact, the EMA did work as a very nice support level for us over here. So yes, the trend is still clearly bullish. If Tesla fails in breaking this resistance over here around 146, 147 and loses the 21 EMA along with this purple trend line over here, then okay, then I believe the trend will reverse in the one hour chart and I believe we are going to seek lower levels. The technical, the optimal target for a bearish reversal structure in the one hour chart is going to be the 50% Fibonacci's retracement, which is quite close to the $123, which is another very important support level using the daily chart. In the daily chart, we see that the $123 was a very nice support level over here on December 22, on December 23, did work as a resistance on December 29, on December 30, and again, multiple times in January this year. The moment we broke this resistance, Tesla went up nicely. It did a very nice recovery over here. However, we are just under a critical resistance level made by this purple trend line over here. This is a quite dramatic situation because we are now in a turning point because if Tesla actually breaks this purple trend line, I do believe there's still plenty of upside left for Tesla and it is going to seek much higher levels in the short and long term as well. However, if we see a top sign under this purple trend line indicating a possible pullback, then okay, probably it is going to retest the 123 again, which is the key point in the daily chart, which is where the, 20, the 21 EMA, I'm so sorry, the 50% Fibonacci's retracement is in the one hour chart as well. So this is going to be a very strong dual support level on Tesla. Now, since the trend is still bearish, because the trend is still bearish, all right? Yes, we broke the 21 EMA over here. We are trading above it right now, but uh, we have yet to see a crystal clear bullish structure. We have yet to see higher highs, higher lows. So far, Tesla is doing nothing but lower highs, lower lows. So the moment we see this, I believe Tesla is going to truly reversing the trend and I believe we are going to seek way, way higher levels. However, as long as Tesla just keeps bouncing like it is doing right now, I am still a little bit skeptical about a very strong, amazing bullish reaction. Either way, if we break this trend line over here, it is going to be a very good sign. It is going to be the first step for an amazing reversal sign on Tesla. Now. Nathan, you are saying this bullish scenario, but what if Tesla loses the 123? Then I believe we are going to retest the $100 again and maybe even lower levels because in the weekly chart, we see that the 110 was a very nice support level for Tesla. This point was a bottom level on, on Tesla on September 2020 and we did a hammer candlestick pattern just above the support level and we in this channel we nailed the target of this hammer candlestick pattern because it hit the, the 140 the 38.2% Fibonacci's retracement over here right now we are above this hammer's target great this is great however we have yet to see a true breakout of this purple trend line and a true meaningful bullish structure now of course if you want to trade with the top five percent of traders that can actually make money while beating this market check my website the link is in the description of this video 
Public track record, guys. My track record is public. Just check my website, all right? Now, back to Tesla. Uh, if Tesla breaks the purple trend line in the daily chart, technically speaking, the next technical resistance should be around, in the short term at least, should be around the 50% retracement, which is around 150. However, I believe Tesla could even break this resistance level over here and seek higher levels like the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement in one single movement. Of course, it is not going to be this week or maybe not even next week, but uh, considering this is the weekly chart, this is a plausible scenario to work with right now. Usually, again, usually most of the time when Tesla breaks the first retracement at the 38.2, usually it finds a resistance around the 50%. Most of the time, I'm not saying this is going to happen right here, right now, especially before earnings, but it is a scenario to consider, all right? If we find a resistance level over here, let's not be surprised if Tesla corrects to lower level. As long as it stays above the 123, I don't believe the bearish scenario will resume. I don't believe that any bearish thesis is going to truly materialize as long as we stay above this support level. So it feels like right now Tesla is just above. Wow, there are two lines. Why? <laughs> uh, so I don't believe Tesla is going to break this support level in one single bearish movement. But still, let's pay attention because earnings are going to be wild. And if you, if you are still watching this video for roughly seven minutes right now, it is about to subscribe this channel. There's literally 50% chances you are not my subscribers. So what the hell? Just subscribe, click on the like button to support me. And of course, I'm going to keep you guys updated every single day in this channel. So seriously, keep in touch. I appreciate your audience, my dear friends. Stay safe. Farewell.